Hey everybody, I am here because uh, I was winding up this coil and figured I'd show you my setup on this thing and let you uh, get some ideas from uh, how I'm doing this. It's a big uh, multi-wire coil. I got nine wires going into the thing, one trigger wire and and uh, eight power wires that I'll be using. Uh, here's a coil. I've already got a lot of it done already. I'm just sitting here doing it by hand. I don't have anything spinning. It's just me put torque on it. And uh, the one thing I did do is put a little piece of rubber here with a hole in it that's real tight on the wires just to really try to be something flexible but put pressure on the wires to keep them as close together as possible. So I'm going to keep this short video, show you me wrapping this for a little bit and basically just wanted to show you the setup. Alright. Just using uh, some of this uh, gaffer's tape. Great tape. Gotta buy some if you don't have any. So I'm just spinning this by hand. holding pressure with my fingers and then using the tape when I want to keep take a break it's like my other videos and I'm not pre-twisting this like you see a lot because I might want to take this apart <laughs> but twist them I'm stuck One nice thing about all these uh, dowels and everything in the rubber, it keeps uh, a little bit of pressure on this thing, so I can keep the tension on it. Anyway, that's the basic idea. I'll, uh, Uh, some tape on it to uh, hold it in place. But anyway, just used standard dowels, drilled a bunch of holes in there, and slowly brought the wires together. So there it is. See you later, people.